Hey guys, I am coming with another awesome new project management tool, an amazing Trello or ClickUp alternative, but Miro is so much more. It is an online whiteboard and a collaboration tool with clear visuals. Organize your notes, projects and processes easily with Miro. Let me show you how. I'm Zofia of My Processes and I help busy entrepreneurs to automate and outsource their time-consuming tasks without sacrificing their profit. So if you are looking to make the four hour work week a reality or simply avoid burnout, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notified when I release a new video like this. Remember back in the old days when we were still working in an office putting sticky notes everywhere. Those little papers just boosted our creativity, right? Or when we were gathered around the whiteboard put up silly ideas and that magical thing actually turned them into a solution. If you have the same nostalgic feeling, you must check Miro, or as it was previously called, real time board. Listen till the end, I will show you how to use it for free. Cool thing number one, get crazy with sticky notes. I always used to love sticky notes but since I am a digital nomad and also aiming for zero waste in every aspect in my life I haven't used them for a while. I wouldn't say I miss them every day but sometimes they are just truly useful like when your team wants to come up with some ideas. Because in traditional brainstorming often the loudest win. Brain writing, on the other hand, is an exercise that not only helps introverted people be heard, but encourages more original ideas for everyone in the meeting. So I suggest you to use this setup in Miro. It's already preset, so I just change the name according to the team members. And then you can set up a live video chat with your team. Then uh, you should present the idea, the issue you are talking about and set the timer, let's say for five minutes. So everyone has five minutes to write every ideas. After the timer rang, ask everyone to move their ideas to the next column and give five more minutes to improve the ideas of the others. It's very easy to move all ideas. Let me show you how. So I basically just go through all the ideas, move them one column away of course, this one is an extra, so I have to move this column to the beginning. And then the people can start and modify the ideas of the others. And once you have already done a few rounds, then with your team, you just look at the ideas, all the improved one, and I am sure you will find a solution here. Cool thing number two, set up a team meeting agenda. When managing a remote team, especially an outsourced team, your team meetings should be straight to the point and well structured. This easy and legend board can help you. First set up the main topic and then add some more subtopics and make sure to decide about the time frames, which are very important if you want to keep on track. Make sure you put it writing everything you agreed on so later you can come back to this. If you have difficulties to move with the mouse, I suggest to use this button. With this one using, you can select things and move them individually, while with this hand button, you can move around in the board. If you want to add one more post-it note, this is your point to click on or simply press M. Here I add a red one because this is an action we need to follow. You can copy these, you can also play around with different options, different colors, you can also add links, you can also change the size, so maybe you need a bigger one, oh, that's too big, let's go for this one, let's move it around. So this is how you can work during the meeting and you can even start a live meeting, a video chat here in Miro, if you have the paid version. Cool thing number three. Democracy. Find a consensus and make decision within the team by voting with dots. This one is really fun. It is a survey or a polling method where everyone can vote by dots. Everyone has equal amount of dots and they can use in any way they seem it is the best. They can use 
all dots for one option or share among the options. Use my road timer down here to set a timer. It actually works only in the paid version. This whole idea works best in cases when you are trying to figure out which project or task should have the priority. So you can add the name of the team members here, and then you can create the ideas. I will use sticky notes here. Let's say I like this color, so I will add this one. It should be a bit smaller. This is idea one. If you feel you cannot move around, then you have to always click here. It's sometimes a little bit tricky. I can copy and paste it with Ctrl C, Ctrl V. So I will add idea two and let's add a third idea, whatever fits best in your case. So you can present the different ideas for the team and you can ask which one would they want to prioritize. And then they have the time set with the timer to actually vote. So how I would do it, I would go all to my dots and either move them all here or one can share. Let's say I will use these four dots for idea one. I will add two dots for the second idea and another two dots for the third idea and so on. So in the end of the timer rings and you only have to count the dots and please make sure that nobody cheats and nobody copy pastes an extra new dot <laughs> to vote further for their favorite idea. So yeah, that's cheating. Everybody has the same dots and every dot qualifies as equal. So the idea that has the more dots is the winning idea or you can actually come up with a decision among your team. Cool thing number four, map a process. Visual process mapping is a key to manage an efficient remote team and to outsource successfully. Watch me behind the scenes how I set up a process. This is how it looks like if I plan a process in Miro. This is my general YouTube management process. And the first thing you see that there are different colors. This is because a color represents a person, so who is responsible for it. So for, at the first glance, you can see what does the client do, what does a keyword researcher, the video editor, and the process manager do. So this is very clear to them. And uh, let me show you how I change the process if I want to change it. Um, so let's say that uh, we will also outsource the scripting. So when the client who has a YouTube channel wants to prepare a video, they don't have to write down the script. We will do it for them. So what I will do that I will move this area, these steps a little bit forward so something else can fit in. I just delete this arrow. I don't need it. But from this, from this box, I want another arrow. So I will just use it like that and Miro will allow me to choose so I will choose this card but I will actually change it to this kind of card you see it's a little bit different it's not a sticky note it allows me to put a little bit more details here so let me just write scripting here it's slow when I'm sharing my screen. So here you can see it's about the scripting. So I will move it here. From this area, I will delete scripting because it will be not the responsibility of the client. Oh, well, funny enough, actually, I should change these two, which is also fine. I will just move them around. Maybe it would be easier if I deleted the arrows. So I can just move the I can just move the cards and not the arrows around. Okay, so here comes after the first keyword we search, there will be a scripting and after the scripting, there will be the filming. So if you ever done a YouTube video, you know what I'm talking about. The scripting will be done by someone else. So I will change the color to the color of this person. Uh, let it be this purple, maybe. Looks fine. And let me add the arrow. So here, these blue dots represent an arrow. And if I connect two 
tables, then they will be connected and then they will move around nicely together. So it's very easy to move them. So I just add the dots and here it is. This kind of card even allows me to add a little bit more details because I can open it and I can add description. I can add a signee, a due date. If it is not a general process, but an actual process, then I can even add a due date as well. And there is some option to send feedbacks as well. And if I want to do something like uh, here, uh, some more sticky notes to detail what is the task, then again, I will use these little arrows and then it will allow me to add a nice sticky note that I can add some further notes here. So this is how I plan out a process, actually any kind of process. It doesn't have to be, of course, my YouTube process, but anything you can think of and you can nicely script it and what i find really useful is that you can add some links here so if you open this area you can add a direct link let's say to your google drive where there is the description of the tasks in detail so anyone who comes here will instantly see what are their tasks and can go forward to check them out in google drive for example so i hope you like this idea this is how I map out processes. Cool thing number five, use it for free. You can have three shared boards in the free version. Even if you create more boards, you can keep them, but only three can be shared. In these three boards, your team can comment and chat with built-in tools and see who is working on what in real-time collaboration. Give me your try. If you have no time to map out your processes, Book a scale-up consultation with me. Hurry up, the spots are limited. Until my next video, stop firefighting and be the creator of your company.